Hey guys, and welcome back to AMC. I'm Hallie, as per usual. I hope you all are doing so well and enjoying the new springtime, and hopefully the winter blues are leaving you guys. I have so much to share with you guys that it's been a whirlwind of emotions and events these past few weeks, so I want to talk to you guys about um, stem cell, th my stem cell therapy that I got done in Germany. Um, first, I need to kind of talk to you about a little bit of what stem cells are. So, stem cells are building blocks for the human body. Think of them as they build, help build different types of tissues, organs, um, bones, stuff like they, they're just, think of them as building blocks, as I keep repeating. <laughs> There are different methods to extracting stem cells. You can extract them from embryonic flu fluid, from, also from umbilical cords, to extracting them from yourself. Now, adult stem cells, they are done growing. They are done building. They are your age. So for someone like me to get uh, an injection of my own stem cells would be kind of pointless. I'm trying to get my disease and my chronic pain and all of that being addressed and using my own stem cells would be pretty pointless. They would do nothing for me. Now for a healthy adult, they might help make them feel more vitalized, more refreshed, but if you're someone like me with a chronic disease, probably not going to do much for you. Now, when people hear you're automatic from embryonic stem cells, they automatically assume it's from dead babies and that couldn't be farther from the truth. They, you can extract them from sheep, but you can also extract them from human. Uh, what's happening is if you've ever been pregnant, they take a test uh, a pre to test for precursors. So they extract embryonic fluid from the mother. Mom and the baby are not injured, and they test that fluid. Now, once they test that fluid, they usually throw it away. Well, they're finding that they can actually save and use that fluid for stem cells. And they're also telling parents to save the umbilical cord and freeze it for the future kid. So if, that, if the kid like me has a rare genetic disease, mutation, and, you know, they could potentially use it to help them further along in life. So I received sheep stem cells from Germany. The facility is really fascinating and it's, it's just a really, I'm grateful and excited I found this facility. So they have sheep that they have protected up on a mountain. They keep far away from humans so and from um, environmental damage. They're minimum human contact. They are very happy and they get to live their life. But they are also used for the extraction of embryonic stem cells and from the umbilical cord as well. Now, the facility is on the top floor of a hotel, which was so a unique experience in itself. Uh, I had my own room. It was like a hotel room, but there was also a nurse's station in the doctor's room as well. And they did the procedure in your room so you didn't have to go and leave anywhere. Uh, it was really exciting and scary because it's all so experimental for me because they've this facility hasn't treated somebody with schwannomatosis before and they knew that it would help uh, with my arthritis and with my asthma but for the tumors it was um, that was where the experimental part came in. They've helped countless people, thousands of people with arthritis and asthma and all different other types of ailments that they've found relief from getting this type of treatment. Um, so I was very hopeful and excited. Now, it was the first day we were greeted from with the, from the doctors and the nurses, and they were all so helpful and really just very comforting. And then we met again with the doctor one-on-one, -on -one, and she broke down what type of stem cells she was going to be using and how they would affect my body. So we were focusing on my intestines, my ovaries, my bones, and my nerves, and my brain. And 
I I got over 12 injections total in my bum, which really hurt. Didn't feel good at all, <laughs> which kind of sucked. <laughs> The, um, I had to lay on my stomach, and I'll show the videos here. My my sweet husband, he tried to take a video for for AMC, but uh, he couldn't really handle me getting stabbed with five inch long needles. So bless his heart, he tried his hardest. <laughs> but the liquid was really thick, and I could feel it coming in and burned, and it just it sucked. One of the nurses, his name was Olaf, and if you've ever seen the movie Frozen, you'll understand this reference and this joke, but uh, after they left, my my body started shaking from all, you know, being stabbed 12 times, and uh, I was crying like a baby, of course, and afterwards they all left. I looked at my husband and I said, I don't want to build a snowman with Olaf anymore. <laughs> I know, corny joke. I know. Only moms who have kids will understand that one. <laughs> but, uh, so after I got the injections, I had to lay on my stomach for about an hour. I couldn't really move. And then even after that, I had dead legs. I, uh, so Chris had to help carry me to the bathroom. It was He was such a trooper. Such So grateful that I had him with me. And I don't know who else I would rather have with me than him. He's just a blessing. So he he stuck it out with me. I I couldn't leave the room for two days. They wanted to monitor me, and the nurse came in every 20 to 30 minutes to check on me and make sure I was all right and wasn't having a reverse reaction or anything. Um, so... Needless to say, got got really stir crazy for a little bit. We watched a lot of Friends episodes. Crazy thing, Chris has never seen Friends, so forced him to watch it with me, and I think I got him a little addicted to it. <laughs> but uh, I, I slept a lot after the injections. They made me really, really tired, and they did warn me that it was going to make me have uh, make my body temperature go up, and it did. I was I had a lot of uh, heat hot and heat flashes. I had a lot of hot and cold flashes, um, but they started to subside or, like as I progressed further on in the week, but those first few days were a little rough. I was sweating a lot and sleeping a ton, which is okay. I haven't slept for the past three years, so <laughs> it was nice to finally get a lot of sleep. It was like I was catching up on missed time. Um, so... After, you know, the second day, I was definitely feeling really stir-crazy. Even though I was still tired, I felt refreshed and vitalized. It was really a, a feeling I haven't felt in a long, long time. And so I was really excited to get out and, you know, experience the world. <laughs> Even though it was a tiny little ski town, <laughs> I was excited to just get out of that room and, you know, go walk around. But they wouldn't let me, so, but finally on the third day, I was able to leave my room and go get, go down and go get food, because they were bringing me my food every, for those two days, up to the bed, bedroom, so it was nice to get out and at least go eat down in the dining hall. Um, so the third day, finally got to go out, and we went for a walk, and I got to walk around the ski town for about 45 minutes, which is a blessing because I haven't been able to do that for a long time. I don't know if y'all remember, I had uh, that horrendous stomach pain that I was hospitalized for in August, and we couldn't figure out what was going on and where where was it come like stem stemming from. Well, uh, on that third day, that pain had subsided and my nausea went away, and I was finally able to eat, and I was so excited to finally eat. I, I felt like I hadn't eaten in two years. It was crazy. I miss food so much. So, so blessed to have food back in my life. It was su such a surreal moment of like, oh, oh my God, I don't, I don't have my stomach pain, and I'm not, I'm not nauseous. Like, what is this? Like, what's going on? Stupid hair. <laughs> Like, what's going on? This is so like new and exciting, and I, I just. I, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I was just over the moon 
that my stomach pain was gone. So we walked that little ski town and it was just so cute. It, they, it was very old fashioned and very clean. And what, one of the cool things about it, they have an old 19th century church, Catholic church, and they would ring the bell every, you know, every night and every morning. And it was so cool to go walk down and go see it. And we got to take some photos. I'll show you guys the photos here. And it was just so cool. Some of the gravestones were from the 1800s. And I, I, I was just blown away by the artistry and just the magnificence of it. It was really, really cool. Um, what else can I tell you about? Little, the little Langries town of Germany. Uh, it was just, it was, we didn't really get to experience much because I did get tired really easily. Um, I felt, I felt better than I had in a long time, but I got tired really quickly. So I'd go back and sleep for hours, which they did, they did say that, you know, that's a normal side effect. You know, your body's, you know, processing these stem cells and so I was okay, and I, I was willing to do that. You know, we weren't there to be tourists. We were there for medical treatment. So I was okay with that. The doctors did say I won't see the full effects for uh, until eight weeks, and we're on the fifth week mark right now. I still don't have my stomach pain. I still don't have the nausea. It came back a little bit here when we were back home, but it it didn't stay very long it came in it would come and go and then uh, it hasn't been back since for my arthritis and my nerve pain I definitely feel like it's not as severe I'm not reaching um, that many tens but it still hurts especially when the rain comes it, it really amplifies it but I'm not having to take my cannabis or kratom as much which is a blessing I'm so grateful for that I it's I, I'm just I'm just really happy for the results. I can't I'm I feel like a kid on Christmas. Like when's the eight week gonna be here? I want to know. I want is it gonna be gone? Like I'm just so hopeful and excited. Um, but we'll see if if worst case scenario if all I get out of this is my asthma is a little bit better and my stomach pain is gone. It was well worth the trip. Uh, but I feel like it'll help more than just my asthma and the stomach pain. I really feel like it's going to help my arthritis and definitely hopefully help my uh, nerve pain. Um, and it would be awesome if it got rid of the tumors that I have already and hopefully prevent other tumors from growing. So keep your fingers crossed and send me positive vibes, guys, because I totally am excited and hopeful for that. It's crazy because I was just telling Chris how such a surreal feeling it is to not have this pain anymore. And it's just in the stomach and it's just, it's just a surreal feeling of not being nauseous 24-7 and being in that pain. And I'm not bedridden or couch ridden and like wrapped with my heating pad as much. It's just my quality of life is improved drastically and I'm just so excited and blessed for that. Um, the flights there were a little rough. I, it wasn't too bad because I had set up the whole wheelchair assistance program that they have at the airports, which was really helpful. They, uh, the, we flew from here to Chicago and then from Chicago to Munich. And it was a 13 hour total flight. It was kind of rough because I couldn't fly with my regular meds. I had to fly with uh, my, you know, prescription meds from the doctor, my Dilaudid and anti-nausea medicine, which was not a fun experience at all because, you know, as you all know, that type of medication doesn't really help for my nerve pain. It kind of just uh, makes you zombie-like is the best way to describe it. So, I definitely got really sick when we landed in Germany. I was really nauseous and then we had a driver pick us up from the airport to take us to the hotel. And it was an hour drive from the airport to the hotel and I th I thought I was going to throw up in the car. I oh, it was terrible. I was like, "No, Hallie, you will not throw up in this vehicle. You will not throw up in this poor guy's car." 
finally made it to the hotel and literally opened the door right as we parked and just bleh, vomited everywhere. I was very proud. I didn't like puke in the car, but oh, it was rough. So definitely had to get off of those medications and you know, I couldn't wait for the stem cells to come, come in. Flying back, uh, we had to go through San Fran, or we had to go to San Fran and then from San Francisco up to here. That flight was a lot longer. It was about 20 hour flight and not the greatest seats, was really hard on me. Had a breakdown in the on the flight. The pain was from my neck and my shoulder really amplified a lot and I you know I don't know if y'all have had those moments where the pain just takes hold and you just don't see anything but that pain I for me I become a troll and no matter what my husband says to kind of calm me down it's just like no <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm not a troll and you know bless his heart he you know really helps me and like was my cheerleader and support team through that crappy situation but we made it, made it back, and I'm just really anxious and excited to see what the future holds because my, I really, just even now at the five week mark, my life has improved drastically. My, my, I'm, I'm able to go out and go on walks with my husband now and the dogs. They're not very long walks, but I'm still building up to it. And it's longer than I've been able to do in a long, long time in about a year. Uh, you know, this whole past year, I've been in a wheelchair if I have to go out and about. And so to not have to use the wheelchair as much is just a blessing. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, what else can I tell you guys about it? I'm just so excited and I want to share as much information as possible. So if somebody out there wants to tr try this, they can go feel confident and go try it. Because this is just incredible and I wish we were doing it here in the states and I hope that we can get to that point where we can do it here in the states because I don't think it's right that I have to travel across the world to go get a treatment that will help improve my life drastically I'm not doing it as a beauty cosmetic or anything like that it's so I can live and live a happy life a somewhat pain-free life and I'm I'm hopeful that other people out there can go get this done and we can get it brought here to the States because it's, it's so incredible, the science behind it. Th these doctors up in Germany, they've been doing it for over 60 years. 60 years! That's a long time to have this stuff and science. And they're not the only ones. Israel's doing it. Panama's doing it. Like, it's... We're the only ones I feel that are lagging and are refusing to do this. And I think it's because of the stigma behind hearing embryonic stem cells. They automatically think it's from aborted babies. And that's, like I said earlier on, it's that's farther from the truth than what's really happening. So if you have any questions, if you want, I, I researched the crap out of this for the past seven, seven eight months and was in contact with a lot of people in the industry from overseas and uh, here in the States. My doctors, you know, they said, all we can advise you is don't get it done here in the States. So, you know, they, they weren't the biggest of help because I, you know, they don't know, I, I mean, they might, but I don't feel like they, they can legally maybe advise me. I don't know, it's a weird, sticky situation our doctors are in here in the States. So. I had to do kind of my own research and find people that were well versed in this knowledge and were in this industry themselves. So very blessed that I was able to be in contact with people like that. Um, so if you have any questions, I have a lot of articles and research papers that I can send your way. So please uh, feel free to email me or message me here and, and uh, drop me a Drop me a comment and I will more than gladly share the info with you. It's very scientific and a lot of jargon that I had to kind of sift through. So, you know, I would love to send that to you all so you don't have to battle it and hunt, hunt it down too. Um, 
I think that's it. I'm really, really excited to keep sharing you guys, sharing with you guys my progress. Um, wish me luck, and I just thank you all for all your kind wishes and prayers and positive vibes. I, I couldn't have done it without my support team. So thanks for everyone being a part of that support team. Sending you all love and healing vibes. Please, please reach out if you have any questions. I'm more than gladly ask any of them. Yeah, answer any of them. <laughs> all right. Oh, interesting fact about stem cells. Spicy food now is like super spicy. I wasn't, um, I never used to be, uh, sensitive to spicy foods and now I'm really sensitive to spicy stuff so it's just it's just crazy what you know the changes I'm going through all right guys that's enough of my blabbering and mumbling of words <laughs> sending you love bye guys